game. Rocket races. Nice. Woo. Gravity games and scales that tell you what you weigh on other planets. On Venus, it's 123, and Jupiter is 345, and Saturn is 145. So you're pretty heavy on Jupiter. Yeah. Space and science go hand in hand at the Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland, California. Well, they love to get their hands on and learn something. And parents, too, sometimes they get, they get intimidated. They don't know a lot about astronomy. They think, oh, it's something that's just so far away, I'll never get a hold of it. But there are a lot of things that people can learn. We like to teach people about. Teaching space and science to people of all ages is the focus at this interactive center, a goal that's more critical now than ever in this country. We we're really facing a crisis today in America in terms of science education. Here in California, we rank 49th in the nation. And here in the Bay Area, in one of the most educated communities in the nation, and yet we lag well, well behind. But Chabot aims to fill that gap. Well, we can always do more. I mean, education is there's you know there's endless for education, but you know having a place, a place like this, it gives them uh, the kids a lot of hands-on. Actually, you can see it. It's not just a textbook reading. No textbooks here. Kids get their hands on solar race cars, build their own rockets, see moon rocks up close, and check out what real astronauts eat. They looked at it and said, hey, this is strawberries, the dehydrated strawberries, the, uh, the peanut butter and the little tubes. Space food is one thing, but a space toilet? Yeah. This thing was actually designed for the Mir space station. This Russian model's mission, don't waste the waste. When somebody goes number two, it's actually packaged and brought back to Earth, not ejected into space anymore for safety reasons. Funny, yeah, but somewhere between the solar system and the space snacks, students find out for themselves that engineering, astronomy, and physics can be interesting and fun. Think there's life on other planets? Mm-hmm. In a lot of schools, I think they're trying to fill the, uh, the necessary gaps that they have to comply with, like things like uh, No Child Left Behind, and they're worried about you know, teaching to those goals when you know, basic science skills are being forgotten, and that's what people can get here at Shibo Space and Science Center. Probably we'll find some answers for them because they are asking so many questions. We will learn something on our own. This year, Shibo is celebrating a milestone. What we're really celebrating today is 125 years of uh, having our telescope Leah and a beautiful 8-inch uh, refracting telescope that was the gift of Anthony Chabot. He donated it to the people of Oakland and almost exactly 125 years ago. That 8-inch refracting telescope named Leah was a gift from hydraulic engineer Anthony Chabot 125 years ago. And back in 1910, Leah showed 10,000 people up close what the famous Halley's Comet looked like. Since then, other historic telescopes have made their way to this expansive center, giving kids a chance to see the universe and appreciate planet Earth. Reinforce that message of how important science education is for kids.